All right, it's beat to beat. I go by the name of DJ Hella Yellow. I got my girl Ashley with two E's with me. And from H Town, what's up? Hi, and we y'all. got Eric Bellinger in the building. What's happening? What's happening? Welcome to Austin. Thanks for having me, man. Happy to be here. Now, I know you've been to South by before. Everybody been there, but yeah. have you been through like on a any other time of the year through yeah, Austin? I don't think so. So first show in Austin tonight. First show in Austin, I believe tonight. So then how how are you going to commemorate it? What you doing special tonight? Well, you know, I'm going to do what I do because I feel like what I do is extra special already with a cherry <laughs> on top. But what I thrive off of is vibing with the energy in the place that I'm at, you know? Gotcha. So I'm going to do me. And depending on how Austin is feeling tonight, <laughs> That's how we gonna, you know, that's how we gonna do it. But I'm gonna get my 100% every time. So the more, you know, people show up, the more people turn up, the more excited people are to be there. It's gonna just energize the room times infinity. We were talking about uh, you working on your album and stuff and new music. You mm-hmm. dropping anything tonight or are you gonna keep that in the tuck for tonight? later on? Man, you know, <laughs> it's interesting because I got the album done and of course now you know anytime i'm in a car with somebody and anytime we chilling i'm like i just want to put it on because i want to see what people think i want to see if they vibing bobbing their head look at people that might not be looking at me so i don't know you never know you know i got some of the jams that i'm of course gonna knock out like goat you know what i mean and you know valet and the, and the, and the songs that you know got me on radio and got mm-hmm. me to be in these places that i'm performing but you know i would love you know that opportunity just got to be the right vibe you know Let's set the vibe tonight, though. Because I'm an artist and I'm sensitive <laughs> about my shit. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> now, coming out of Compton, mm-hmm. it's I've been, I was in Compton not too long ago, and starting to see, well, I wasn't in Compton, I was in L.A. Yeah. Yeah, don't act like yeah, you I was don't act like I was in Compton. You was on Crenshaw <laughs> Slauson now. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen a lot of regentrification going along. Like, mm-hmm. it's cr- getting crazy out there. How is that changing the culture? Crazy as in, in uh, what you mean? Like, regentrification. Yeah, what you mean? Redrench. Like the, the white people moving in. The hood. <laughs> Help me out, Pete. The white people moving into the hood. People trying to make yeah. the hood the suburbs. Oh, yeah. So yeah. basically, mm-hmm. that's happening everywhere. Mm-hmm. You know, and, you know, you got places like Rialto and, you know, different places where, you know, the black culture sometimes, you know, is moving to. It's like a lot of different places that, you know, just with LA being the, the sub for everything the hub everybody want to come to LA I want to move to LA I want to move to LA it's mm-hmm. just overpopulated and I think it's just kind of you know forced to to just kind of deal with it you know and just the capacity is just everywhere everybody everywhere yeah mm-hmm. Cali like or LA specifically is um such a big market for hip hop yeah. like R&B yeah do you feel like artists in LA helped each other because a lot of cities like Atlanta Houston they're like oh y'all hating y'all don't yeah. help us do yeah. you feel like LA is like that uh, I don't think LA stick together how we should mm-hmm. how the example that you know NWA how they said you know I mm-hmm. look at Atlanta like you said and I look at you know the different cities where where artists team up it's like they always gonna be hot because they always gonna be on each other shit you yeah. know like when, when you hot I'm on yours when mm-hmm. I'm hot you on mine you know but I feel like LA is kind of like it divided a little bit in in competition amongst ourselves. You know what I mean? Like I'm sitting up here and you over there, and you and I'm over here, and we could be doing something together that's great. Instead, we trying to get to a place, you know, faster. Mm-hmm. Is it just real clicky? Yeah, okay. definitely real, real clicky because I feel in LA, you know, you got the people that are there, and you got the people like we were saying that just kind of move to town, and you're mixed up. You don't know who's who. You don't know who's intention. You don't know what to think. So now it's like, man, I can only really trust my boy. So that's all I'm gonna do. So it's not like a thing that has happened. Maybe because people are just that selfish. I feel like kind of get to the point where you gotta look out for yourself. So once everybody gets to know everybody, we might see some old collabs of a few years. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> now, collab, you got mm-hmm. the goat with Wale. Yeah. That's the joint right there. Thank you. On your, like, when you collab with somebody, uh-huh. how do you go about, what's the vibe like? Is it somebody like, oh, I got to see him, I got to work with him, or do you got to get in the room with him? Yeah. Uh, I... I like I like working with people that I know, that I love, that I, you know, feel mm-hmm. like it's gonna be mutual support. Hey bro, we dropping it today. Cool. Shoot me the artwork so I can post. As opposed to like yeah. okay, we dropping this song this Friday. <laughs> and you gotta come up with this tactical plan <laughs> to get you. Can you please tag me? The yeah, like <laughs> of the person yeah. that's on the joint. Like, mm-hmm. I get a retweet. I mean, you want the, the song? <laughs> put it on the story. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You feel mm-hmm. me? It's like whatever you can get. But for me, I like, man, I call Wale, you know, because 
that's really my guy. You know, we really family, and we make great music together. And I think, you know, the fans have actually started to love and see, you know, and get excited when we get together. It's like, yo, you know, yeah, he was just on spare time. Yeah, I was just on one reason. Yeah, he was just on treat yourself. You know, I could the name, the list could go on, but it's like, man, but it's organic and it's real. And I think the fans see it and appreciate it. You know, we got to bring up Big Draco, right? Big Draco. Big Draco. <laughs> We can't not. We can't not. So you know what I'm saying? Have you ever seen him in Bompton? Mm. <laughs> what, what did he say in that video? Uh, he was like, Bumpton's "Oh, this my It was like, like, you know, it was a regular day. I was in the hood. <laughs> <laughs> it was a regular day. I was in the hood. <laughs> like, and what? one of the guy, he was like, he put it "They all say Soldier Boy can't come in the hood." Like yeah. that part. Yeah. Okay, that part. Yeah, they say Soldier so, in the hood. Listen. Or what? So hey. Big Draco, he, he yeah. basically said, you know, Drake, but Drake stole his flow or whatever. Yeah. And then Ariana Grande dropped that song that kind of mimics Pretty Boy Swag. What is the line between straight up stealing and just mm -hmm. being inspired by? You know, I'm a songwriter, songwriter. So, mm -hmm. you know, I know all the technicality, the rules. And, you know, it's a seven note uh, change in melody. So da 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 da, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like if you just if you get out of there at like three, you know you cool and you know the same with the words and I feel like when you you know like for example a better, a good example is Beyonce when she did it when she was like da, 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 like she changed the melody completely. Mm -hmm. So in one argument you can say okay, well, but you know she sang hers, but you know then you also have the lane of the lyric to you know to check out and you know that one is. You know, I, th I just think it's like a, a step, a three or four step process to determine. But a lot of times people are doing what people are doing and it's just they just getting away with it. So they just keep doing it mm. until somebody be like, <laughs> till someone say something. Yeah. yeah. Like either take that down or we suing you. You know, what I mean? we, but it yeah. just takes a lot. I feel to get to that point, And a lot of times it's nearly not worth it if it's a song that's number eight on the mixtape <laughs> you know what i mean but like Shots. if it's a big song that go, <laughs> if it's a big yeah. song that go crazy yeah yeah say something what about like style wise not even like from the lyrics it's like yeah you sound like this person oh uh, yeah i think you know that happens all the time you know from the migo style mm. to my style to just Anybody that's a, a true creator, it's like you just got to know that that's what you do. You, you got to be cool with starting waves, and it's true. cool. It's like, if not, like, what else are you doing it for, you know? So I'm kind of like, I take it as like, oh, that's dope. I just got to recreate something different because if you're like, yo, that's, you took my whole style. It's like, all right, what they doing with it, you know? It's like, mm -hmm. it's up to, the, it's, a, it's more than the music now, you know? Like, somebody could have the music, but you also got to have the look, and you also got to be able to conduct yourself in interview. You got to turn up at the shows. You got to yeah. have fans. Your gear got to be good. It's like, it's so many different puzzles that are necessary, pieces to the puzzle necessary that's like, whatever, you know what I mean? Yeah. Unless you feel like you got to say something. A lot of times for me, I just... Make another song. It's an, another son out here running around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sons <laughs> everywhere. What is the um, you know the whole debate is still going on. The king mm -hmm. of R and B. Yeah, man, the king of R and B. The, thing. What, but it yeah. can be broken down, yeah. right? Because a there's the current king, there's the OG king. Mm -hmm. Like, who is your king of R and B? Man, honestly, the king, my king. I, my king is me. My I don't I don't feel like he was wrong for saying that. You know yeah. what I mean? Like okay. Because you should you, always think you're yeah, dope. You should feel yeah. that. But just whatever you feel is how you feel. Mm -hmm. But that don't mean it's true. But <laughs> how you feel is how you feel. That goes yeah. for him, that goes for me. You uh -huh. know what I mean? You supposed to definitely walk with that mentality with your head high, like, yeah, I'm the best doing it. If you're really trying to compete. Mm -hmm. That is the that is the energy. But I just feel like when you when he did it on on, on the scale that he did. Um, R&B responded because R&B isn't about I'm the best. Yeah. R&B is about love. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Rap is about I'm the best. They could get away with it. But when you come to R&B and you like, you know, everybody is really frowned upon to the point where yeah. everybody going to say something. You're not going to see no R&B battles and it's like making well, the band. Yeah, it's just about love. <laughs> That's just what it is. Right That's <laughs> what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. You're not going to... You, you seen that meme when it was like day 26. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That's the only time <laughs> Yo, they used to do it back in the day at the award shows. They used to have a four, you know what I mean, the four times going back and forth with the whispers. Like they really used to do that. You know, I, I seen videos and all kind of things that I've studied that has you know gotten me to the point where I'm at. And I feel like because you know I just respect the past, I'm mm -hmm. able to respect the future. And if you don't really know where you what what got here, 
you know, what got you here and, you know, what made the genre what it is and you don't even... Why don't not, you think we see groups even. like we used to now? I don't know. I like groups. I'm a fan of groups. I'm trying to put together a group. You know, I want to oh, see that. Exclusive? Yeah, I want to yeah. <laughs> see that because I feel like it's just a lot of people doing the same thing. So it's like... Y'all might as well just go get in the group. It's yeah. tough. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just tough. It's just so many people that are trying to get to the same goal. And I look at it like, man, the most successful acts nowadays are the most original acts. So mm -hmm, whether that means dual, whether that means multiple, whether it's one person, I just like different. So, I mean, I don't know. I like groups. Do you feel like R&B is still romantic or do you feel like it totally turned into trap and B? Like it went yeah. from like, I want to love you yeah. to like. I think it, it went from you know? R&B to trap and B yeah. to now getting back to R&B because <laughs> People are just tired of the same thing because the rappers was rapping and the singers was rapping. Mm. You know, mm -hmm. so now when you're singing, it's like, ooh, it's refreshing. You know, when your beat ain't necessarily trapped out, it's refreshing, yeah. you know. And, you know, being, to me, like, I really try to stay true and pride myself on being, like, just R&B, R&B, you know. So it's just dope to see the attention and to feel it like man people really paying attention to what they were saying was dead six months ago yeah mm -hmm. so for that shout out to jacquees because <laughs> he for sure did I'm yeah like, you know what i mean like it's dope that you know what i mean people are really paying attention and you know asking about the top fives and asking mm -hmm. about who's the king and asking what's going on because nobody was really checking for it facts big facts <laughs> <laughs> big, big facts, facts. <laughs> now when in your process when you writing a song do you go into it knowing like this is gonna be for somebody else or like do you yeah. have one for you? It's like I might just get that to now it's more just me. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? When at first it was just like a free for all, you know, mm -hmm. and then I kinda had to learn there's a such thing as an Eric Bellinger song, there's a such thing as a Chris Brown song, Justin Bieber, you know, and th that individuality and the uniqueness really separates yeah. you as an artist. So, you know, that's when I started to get more placements. That's when I was able to, you know, like gain a stronger fan base for myself because I had, you know, a character that people could identify with and I had ammo to say either you want this or you don't. In the meantime, it's just like a, a song being popular, it fades. But the artist's character, you know, growing the love for that person, that's what's going to, you know, get them to stick around for some for some time. What's one joint you wish you would have kept for yourself? <laughs> Maybe like, a, I like, I like Fine China. But I still feel like that was a Chris Brown song. Maybe. And that's something that I had to learn, you know. Mm -hmm. But of course, like, oh, I, man, like, that would have <laughs> been crazy. But it yeah. was just like the way he, you feel me, he yeah. did it. And, and the song got the best look, you know what I mean? It got the, it got the visual it deserved, you mm -hmm. know. It, got, it gets the shows that I'm like kind of more with the music. Like, man, mm -hmm. the music just needs to have the best look possible because that's what it's all about. So we asked you about all your processes, but... The rebirth. Yeah. Let us know when that's dropping. Two twenty two. And what can we expect? Rebirth two, man. Uh, features. Um, yeah, features. We got. Psh. Don't be secretive either. <laughs> yeah, <I'm laughs> oh, not, I can't talk about it, man. I ain't trying to. <laughs> I honestly don't know. Like, you know I mean, what's the you know? You know how crazy it is with them features, boy. That's what I'm saying. I work with the homies. Yeah. You Why? know, bitch, because it's like we got you. You know, I uh -huh. got you, but. You just have to make sure that you don't step on the wrong toes. Oh, okay. You don't say the wrong thing. Right. What if they didn't clear it yet? Like, wait, what? You know, it's just it's just real gentle, delicate, you know. But I mean, let me I got it's easier for me to like look at it. <laughs> we need to pass the ox cord. We can pass, we can pass <laughs> the ox cord. Nah, I'm okay. just saying, <laughs> like I was just be remembering like that. Yeah, I mean, okay, here we go. We got BJ the Chicago kid. Love him. Okay. Yes. Um <laughs> Man, I got Problem, RJ, Dom Kennedy, uh, Victoria Monet, Brittany B, um, uh, Maze, possibly. Are these, it's some but possibly. This, 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 is a, this isn't the, the full possibly. list, though. This is the... This, no, this is okay. So. <laughs> I'm tired. Right. I'm tired. I'm tired of getting it. flexed no, no, on in this, t in this seat right now. <laughs> no, this is the, you know what I'm saying? All right. This is the for shows. We know we rocking. <laughs> With them. Album on the way, 222. <laughs> yeah. The show tonight, Handovers 2.0. Mm -hmm. First show in Austin. Yeah. Let's, and we both be out there. Yeah, yeah. we're going to be in the building. We Get, turn. Energy, singing. You going to have your light skin support? 
We gonna be there. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna be in the house. All right, cool. Houston, sure Austin, we got you. People, we need the green people. <laughs> the green <laughs> people, all the people. Day. Everybody <laughs> pull up. <laughs> we appreciate you pulling up. No it's beat to beat. DJ Hella Yella, Ashley, two E's, Eric Bellinger in the building. That's right.